Hey there guys, so yeah, let's talk about a recently announced fight that's going to be happening in a couple of weeks' time. The fight between Virgil Ortiz and Sergei Boachuk. Um So yeah, you know, this fight actually took me by surprise because obviously Virgil Ortiz was supposed to be fighting Tim Zhu. Um, he was going to fight Tim Zhu on the Crawford versus Madrimov card. Um, and obviously Tim Zhu had to pull out with um, the cut he sustained against Sebastian Fundora. Um, you know, there wasn't enough time for him to spar, there wasn't enough time for him to, um, you know, prepare in training camp. Um, obviously he wasn't going to be able to spar with um, the cut he sustained in time, so they had to postpone the fight. Um, and I believe this fight is going to be taking place a week after um, Crawford vs Madrimov. Um, and yeah, you know, I was surprised that they took this fight, because this is one of those fights that's a bit, you know, it's, it's the common saying in boxing, it's high risk, low reward. Now obviously Boachuk is the WBC interim champion, I believe. He be won against Brian Mendoza. Um, you know, in a dominant performance, we probably won 10 out of the 12 rounds. Um, but, you know, Boachuk is someone who, he's not very well known. You know, his last fight was on, I think it was on the preliminaries of the PBC card. I think I think that was one of the fights that was free on YouTube. Um, and, you know, he's not very well known in the boxing world. Not a lot of people are, you know, thinking this guy's an absolute killer or anything like that. You know, a lot not a lot of people will give Virgil Ortiz a huge amount of credit by beating um, so hey, Boachuk, you know, unlike they would have done with if you beat Tim Zhu. Um, and, you know, they're really starting to push um, Virgil Ortiz. You know, they're putting him in with uh, Tim Zhu and now they're putting him in with this guy. Um, I think it's going to be interesting to see how um, he looks in this fight. Because obviously he was supposed to fight Stan Jonas um, last year, I believe. Um, and he had to pull out of that fight with um, medical problems. Um, you know, his condition that... I think that um, his medical con uh, condition that caused the Michael McKinson fight to be postponed the first time, um, you know, that flared up again, um, and he wasn't able to fight Stan Jonas. Um, and, you know, he's made the move up to 154 pounds. And he hasn't really had a solid test. You know, he, he hasn't really had a test since the Michael McKinson fight, and that was back in, I believe it was August 22. Um, and obviously at 154 pounds he's fought Frederick Lawson you know just sort of a journeyman at this point you know he stopped in one round you know with a premature stoppage um, and he fought Thomas Delorme you know a good fighter at the lower weights but someone who's considerably you know past his prime um, and who was too small anyway um, and you know he got taken out in one round um, so we haven't really seen Virgil Ortiz tested by um, someone who's going to be as big as Boachuk someone who you know, is really going to be putting that pressure on, who's going to be throwing a lot of punches, who's big. Um, and it's going to be interesting. You know, this might turn out to be the toughest fight of Virgil Ortiz's career. You know, for many factors. I think for Poachuk is arguably, you know, his toughest opponent to date. Um, you could argue probably Kavalowskis as well. Um, but obviously Poachuk is going to be the biggest opponent he's faced. Probably the hardest puncher. Probably the most relentless. Um, and... You know, there are certain things that Boachuk brings to the table that are going to give Ortiz problems, in my opinion. Um, Boachuk is someone who's quite um, versatile. You know, he can, obviously, as he showed against Brian Mendoza, um, you know, he can really fight on the front foot. You know, he's got very good stamina, very good work rate. Um, you know, he beat the shit out of Mendoza, you know, just based on um, just his work rate. Um, and, you know, he completely outworked him in that fight. Mendoza was just looking for s single shots you know, big, like putting everything into these shots, just looking for big singles, whereas um, Boachuk was just throwing uh, high volume, just outworking them, you know, doing more damage because his shots were, like, were landing in accumulation. Um, and against, for me, Boachuk is someone who, I think he's quite good from a technical point of view. Um, you know, he's got a nice high guard, he was blocking shots really well against Mendoza. Um, and he's someone who can box on the back foot. Um, I, I believe he's about six foot um, I think he's got quite a long reach, um, and we have seen him box on the back foot before. Um, you know, he's someone who I, I think he's he's obviously come from that um, amateur school of you know, Ukrainian boxing, um, so he's going to be able to box on the back foot like most of those guys are. Um, and I think he sh should definitely try to do that in this fight. Um, I think if he tries to just go head on against Ortiz, I don't think that's really going to be the best strategy. Um, you know, Ortiz is someone who likes to pick his shots a lot more. 
um, you know, he's not just going to come out and that, throw, you know, empty the kitchen sink, you know, throw the kitchen sink at Boa Chuck, you know, throw punches and bunches. He's someone who's going to try and pick his shots a lot more. Um, he's a lot, he's a lot more patient. Um, and if Boa Chuck just goes at him like he does Mendoza, um, I think there's a good chance that he could get clipped. Um, you know, Ortiz is very sharp. He's very explosive. Um, you know, he's very powerful. Um, and I just think back to when Boa Chuck fought Brandon Adams. Um, and obviously Adams isn't like known as a big one punch knockout artist, um, but he sort of, he was able to catch Boa Chuck between his uh, combination. You know, he was able to when Boa Chuck was opening up, he was able to catch him in between his shots. Um, and maybe Boa Chuck is a bit fragile. Maybe his chin isn't the best. Maybe he's a bit of a glass cannon. Um, and Adams was able, was able to stop him. Um, and I think if Boa Chuck is overly aggressive in this fight, I think Ortiz will probably clip him. Um, and, you know, if he fights too aggressively, I think it could go early. Um, but I expect Boa Chuck to be a bit more intelligent than that. I think um, he will probably try and box on the back foot a bit more in this fight. Um, you know, give Ortiz a couple more problems than he would have, you know, if he just stood in front of him. Um, I think Boa Chuck has got the best skills, you know, from the outside. I don't think Virgil Ortiz is the best, you know, outside fighter or anything like that. I think he's purely inside, you know, a pressure fighter. Um, you know, he's not someone who's going to fancy down the fancy down around the ring just outboxing his opponents. Um, you know, when he throws a jab, it's always like a, a stiff power jab, um, you know, like a triple G jab. Um, but it's, he never varies the power of the jab. It's always a stiff jab. You know, he's always stepping in with it. Um, so it can become very predictable. Um, and you know, Virgil Ortiz is someone who always throws with, you know, knockout intent behind his power shots. Um, he's not someone who's just gonna throw like a light shot just to set something up. You know, he's always going for that knockout. Um, so I think Boachuk can definitely have success in this fight. I think if he does box on the back foot, I think he's gonna make Ortiz chase him. You know, he's gonna have to put the pressure on. Um, and I can see Boachuk having success from the outside. Um, but to be honest, I don't know if Boa Chuck is one of these guys who lacks a ring IQ. Um, I've talked about in the past how, if you look at someone like Josh Warrington, for example, um, for someone with his skill set, he tends to be really drawn into brawls. Um, you know, you look at like the Mauricio Lara fight, for example, um, you know, when he could just you know, box on the back foot, you know, use his jab, use straight shots, make the fight a lot easier. He'll tend to just go to war. You know, he went, he absolutely went to war with Mauricio Lara. And it's the same situation with um, Luis Alberto Lopez. Um, I think Boa Chuk could be a similar sort of fighter. I think he could, he could be a guy whose heart sort of rules his head. I don't think he, maybe they'll come up with a game plan to try and box, but I don't think, I don't think he'll be able to stick to it. Um, you know, I think he's definitely someone who looks to impress, looks to get that stoppage. Um, you know, in the Mendoza fight, Prime Mendoza had a very good 11th round. Um, and, you know, he clipped him with a big shot. He probably won that round. Um, but, you know, Boa Chuk had already won the fight at that point. Um, but instead of, like, just coasting the last round, you know, just trying to box on the back foot, make it as safe as possible, um, Boa Chuk took risks. Um, and he really went for that stoppage against Mendoza. And, you know, he, he clearly won the last round, in my opinion. But, you, you know, if you're going to be doing that against Virgil Ortiz, just opening up yourself to, you know, again, clipped with a big shot. Um, I, I can see Boa Chuk, you know, compromising himself by being a bit too aggressive. Um, I think he let his heart rule his head in this fight. You know, I could be wrong, but that's what I, su what, that's what I suspect. I think he'll try and you know, have that macho streak and I think he'll probably go toe to toe at some point in this fight. Um so I think Boachuk will probably start well. I think he'll probably start to box on the back foot. But I think at some point Virgil Ortiz will start to have a lot more success. Um I can see him starting to win the rounds, you know, just based on aggression, you know, this is on his promoter's show, so I think Boachuk is gonna know he's gonna have to make a statement, you know, to win this fight on points. Um, you know, or by stoppage, obviously. Um, and I think there probably will be a point where Boa Shuk thinks, okay, I've got to do something about this now. I think, you know, he's going to have to stand his gu stand his ground, stand and trade. Um, and I think he'll have success. He'll be able to land some good shots. But I think, 
you know, this could be a fight where Boachuk goes down numerous times. Um, or I think it could be a fight where he gets clipped once and then gets knocked out. Um, I think I think this fight will be a late stoppage. I think Boachuk will probably start well. Um, but I think Virgil Ortiz will come more into the fight. And I think Boachuk will realise... Um, you know, you, you look at like Sonny Edwards versus Bam, for example. You know, Edwards knew he had to stand his ground to get the, you know, the t uh, decision in that fight. Um, I think it's going to be a similar situation here. I think Boachuk will know that he'll have to stand his ground, you know, stand and trade just to get the respect on the scorecards. And I think that will cost him. Um, I think Virgil Ortiz will clip him. I think this fight either goes to a late stoppage. I could probably see it going to points. But I think if it goes to points, I think Boachuk will be knocked down a couple of times. Um, but I can definitely see Virgil Ortiz clipping him um, and putting him out. I think Virgil Ortiz by a stoppage is probably the most likely outcome in this fight. Um, I think it's going to be very competitive. I think it will tell us a lot about where Virgil Ortiz is at in his career. Because I think Boachuk is quite underrated. Um, but I think Virgil Ortiz will probably have a bit too much for him. Um, I think it'll just be a bit too sharp, a bit too explosive, a bit too powerful. Um, and probably a bit too tough for him. I think Ortiz is a lot tougher. Um, and I think he's a bit more powerful with one shot. You know, Boachuk is someone who, he's more attritional. You know, when he gets a stoppage, it's attrition. Um, and yeah, I can see Virgil Ortiz clipping him, and I think he'll get a late stoppage. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the, about this fight in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.